All right, good morning, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to make some simple shapes here and trying to render them and use some tricks in Photoshop to help us out here. So we're going to go and jump over to Photoshop. So this is what we're going to make. We're going to make a cube, a cone, and a sphere here. And we're going to try and use some of our tools to render those out and try to quickly do those. Uh, it'll be a little quicker than uh, it looks like. Uh, this will be a quick lesson. All right, so first we're going to go ahead and go to File. We're going to make a new file. It's going to make an eight by 10. It's going to be landscape. And we're going to call this forms your name. 300 DPI RGB white background. Go ahead and create that. All right. I want, once we got that, we're going to start by making a new layer. We're going to start with a selection tool. We're going to get our rectangular selection tool here. And I'm going to hold down shift. I'm just going to make a perfect square. Okay. Now I've got my perfect square here. Now I'm going to go ahead and let's make a blue and I'm just going to pick a blue up here in my color picker. Okay. I'm going to get my paint bucket tool. I'm just going to pour that in there. So I got a blue square. Okay. Now I'm going to copy that. I'm going to hit command C, command V so that I have Two copies of that okay now this one i'm just going to slide up to here and butt right up against there okay now our light source let's go ahead and go and i'll put a dot up here and let's just make a red dot up here i'm just going to get my brush and this is going to be our light source up here so our light's going to be coming from the upper right coming down Going back to our box here, okay. So we are going to hold down command with our move tool and we're going to skew this, okay. Something like that. We can adjust it again later if it doesn't look right, okay. Now, what we need to do because our light's coming this way and our box is up here, right? So that if this color is blue on this front side, this back side is going to be farther away from the light, so it's going to be darker. So we're just going to take our color we got here. Click my blue. I'm going to commit that shape. I'm going to click this blue here. I can do it here. I'm going to do it up here just so you can see it here. Okay. Switch my colors here. I need to be darker. So I'm just going to drag down to get a darker color. Okay. Again, I'm going to get my paint bucket. Just going to make that darker. Okay. I'm going to select my original cube one more time. And I'm going to hit Command C, Command V again, Command C, Command V again. That gives me a new one. And I'm going to put this one up on top and connect it. They kind of click together there. And again, I'm going to hold down my Command key so that I can skew that. And I'm just going to close that box so that I've got a cube like that. Okay. I'm going to have to get a little closer there. I want it to line right up like that. Okay. Now, again, our light source is up here. And this is kind of closer to the light, so it's not going to be darker. It'll be lighter, right? So I'm going to get my paint bucket here, and I'm just going to select this by holding down Option, and then I select that color, and this time I'm going to go lighter. So I'm going to go closer to the white over here, something like that, and I'll make it like that. So now that I have a cube that looks like it's reflected in light, okay? Now I'm going to go over here with my in my layers palette, and I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to select all three of those guys. And I'm going to hit command G to put them in a group. Okay. Go ahead and call that cube. Rename it there. Okay. And then I'm going to hit command J as in Johnny to make a copy of that. Okay. The one on top, I'm going to poke out the eye. The one on the bottom, I'm going to merge into one layer because I want to make a shadow out of it. Okay, so I'm going to hit Command E to merge that. It's going to merge that there. You can also right click on that layer and get those merge uh, controls as well. I just like using the quick key because it's a lot easier. Now that it is all together, I'm going to right click bunny ears on the thumbnail and say select pixels. I'm going to hit D on my keyboard to get my default black and white colors. And then I'm just going to fill that with black.
Okay, so I have a black cube. Okay, on top, I've got my color cube, and I got my black one's going to be my shadow. I'm going to hit Command D to deselect that. I'm going to get my move tool, and I am going to just move this down underneath it. Okay, now again, I'm going to hold down my Command key. And I'm going to skew this guy until it looks like it is coming off that direction of the light. So the light's coming this way, so it's going to cast a shadow, something like that. Let me bring it up just a little bit. Something like that. All right, super. Now, while I've got this, okay, I could leave it like that, but I want to make it look like a little bit more realistic of a shadow. I'm going to right-click and select those pixels again. And I'm going to use my gradient tool. Okay. Now I need a selection is going to just put that gradient just inside of there. If I don't put that uh, selection up, that gradient is going to go over the whole background. Okay. So the way the gradient tool works is I start from one color. In this case, it's going to be black to white because that's what I have. Okay. Now I'm going to stretch this out just a little bit further to make it kind of fade, but I don't want it to fade completely to white by the time we get to the end of that selection. So I'm going to stretch it out a little further. Okay. You can try it until you get it and kind of get it to where you think it looks like a realistic shadow there. That looks good to me. I'm going to hit command D. Last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my filter and I'm going to blur this a little. I'm going to go to blur. I'm going to use my favorite blur, Gaussian blur right there. And right around probably 10 is about where I want 10, 12. I'm going to say, okay. All right. And then I'm going to select both those again. I'm going to hit command G, put that in there. I'll rename that cube one more time. I've got that hit command S, save my progress. All right. So that was the hard one. Let's make one of the easy ones now. Let's go ahead and make another layer. This time I'm going to get my circle elliptical marquee. I'm going to hold down shift on my new layer. And I'm just going to make a circle. I'll make it about the same size as my square here. Okay. Now let's make it a red circle here. So I'm going to get my paint bucket tool and I could just make that red. Now I could go in with my uh, brush and try to render this, but that, uh, Gradient tool is really good for making valued shapes, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change my background color. Let's change our background color to that same red, but let's make it darker. Okay. I'm going to get pretty dark here because I want to go from bright red to a dark red and then I'm going to get my gradient tool. Okay. Now I could do the same thing I did with my shadow and go for like this from here to here. Okay. I can also switch my front and background color so I can have that up here like that. Okay. And I can kind of do that and it does kind of look like that, but I do have a tool right here. If I switch this to the circular gradient, radial gradient, right? That's so going to be better for round objects like my circle here. It's going to give me a round highlight and round out. It's make a nice shadow there. So I will do that like that. I'm going to go from the point to the darkest. I like that. That works right there. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make a shadow again. I'm going to say command C, command V, make the other one here. I'm going to turn off the top one, go to the bottom one, right click on the thumbnail, select pixels. Now I'm just going to fill this. I'm going to hit I'm going to fill it with my default colors again. I'm going to go back to my regular gradient. And I'm going to go something like that. Get my move tool, command D to deselect. And I'm going to put it underneath, turn this guy back on. I'll hold down my command key, skew that guy. And again, I'm just kind of trying to make it look like Fits with that light that I have. Kind of fits my other shadow like that. That looks pretty good. Maybe move it over just a little bit. And go up to filter. I'm gonna commit that. Commit. I'm gonna go to filter. I'm gonna go to blur again. Use that Gaussian blur one more time. Leave it right there at 12. Looks great. All right. Now our last one here. I'm going to get my 
we're going to do a cone. Let's go ahead and group these guys. Shift and shift to grab both of those. Man G, we'll call that here. We'll go ahead and make a new layer here. Our last one here. We're going to use that got the the uh, elliptical marquee one more time here. Okay, now on this one, I need to see my, I'm going to view and turn on my rulers here. Turn on my rulers. If you don't have it in inches, you can click on there and make sure you got it on inches. Okay, now you can see I got a little marker that marks where I'm at. I'm going to go and I'm going to go over like from two to four or something like that here on this new layer. Okay, I'm going to go and you can see it up there. It's at two and I'm going to click and I'm going to drag out. So I get to four and I'm just going to make a ellipse like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to get as close as I can. That looks pretty good there. Okay. Now I'm going to get my polygon lasso tool. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to split those two. And I'm going to make a cone shape. So I'm going to get my polygon lasso tool. I'm going to hold down shift because I want to add to this selection. I'm going to start at one corner. I'm just going to click on the very edge of that. And I'm going to go up and right when I'm at the three, which is right between the two and the four, I'm going to click once. I'll come down to this corner and click right on the edge and then I will close that shape so I have a cone okay on my new layer going to get my gradient tool again okay let's pick a new color here let's pick yellow I'm going to pick a nice bright yellow the background color I'm going to pick yellow I'm going to make a darker yellow Okay, so I have that gradient there. Now here I have a little bar gradient that I can use that'll work for this one. Okay, now I'm going to play around with this gradient, trying to get it to look like that. Now notice as I go with there, the closer I get, drag it fast. But you gotta use your eyeballs, kind of what looks best to you. So I'm gonna say something like, that looks pretty good to me. like that i like that right there okay now again i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to duplicate it. command c command v or command j to duplicate the layer i'm just going to hit command j duplicate the layer the one on top i'm going to turn off the one on the bottom i'm going to right click on the thumbnail select pixels and i'm going to hit my default colors again what if i hit d on the keyboard hit black and white okay and i'm going to take this from black to white. Now I got to put this back to my regular gradient here. Like that. Okay. Command D, get my move tool. I'm going to hold down command and I'm just going to skew this. Turn my one back up on top. Get my shadow, place it underneath. And then I will just kind of skew this guy till he looks about right. like that okay now the last thing i can do here is i can add a few highlights here so i'm going to go ahead and go on my cone i'll right click say select those pixels and i'm just going to get my brush i'm going to get a nice soft brush here just a soft round brush i got my opacity turned down to about 50 percent there and i'm just going to get straight white here make sure i got my foreground color here I'm just going to go straight white and on here and I'm just going to kiss the edge of my cone here with some white just to give it a little highlight okay hit command G we'll go ahead and put those guys in a group I hit command G that cone I'm going to go to my sphere let's find my sphere let's put a dot of white on there just a highlight there like that and we'll call that done hit command s and you're all finished on there so we can see that we can use our marquee tools and our gradients and our brushes to kind of make some realistic shapes there okay all right that's our lesson for today there boys and girls please have a super duper day and i'll see you tomorrow